in this problem we have been given that now if i take lcm we are going to get now you can see the expansion of sine 3x on your screen so i am applying the expansion of sine 3x we are getting Now, if I open the brackets in the numerator, we are going to have Now, they have said that the value of this limit is 0. Now, when limit x is approaching towards 0, if it is fx by gx and if the answer is 0, then definitely power of fx should be higher than power of gx. Is it clear? Then only you will get your answer as 0. If power of fx is equals to the power of gx, then you will get a numerical value other than 0. If the power of fx is less than the power of gx, then the answer will be infinity. Is it clear to all of you? Now, since the value of this limit is given to be 0, therefore, the power of fx, that is the power of the numerator, in this case, should be higher than the power of denominator. The power of denominator is 3. So, the numerator power should be more than 3. So, for that, this part and this part has to be equals to 0. Because if these two parts exist, then the power of numerator will be either equals to the power of the denominator or it will be less than the power of denominator. In both the cases, you will never get your answer as 0. Is it clear? Therefore, to have the value of this limit equals to 0, you must have 3 plus a equals to 0. That implies a is minus 3 and b minus 9 by 2 equals to 0. That implies b equals to 9 by 2. Is it clear? Hence, option a is correct. Have you understood the problem? Okay, let us move for the next one. In this problem, if I put the limiting value in the given function, we are going to get in the numerator and in the denominator we are having. So, the limiting form of the given limit is 0 by 0. Hence, we are applying L'Hopital's rule. That is, we are differentiating numerator and denominator separately we are getting. Now, if I put the limit we are having, is it clear? Hence, option b is correct is it clear to all of you let us move for the next problem here let us say pi minus x is p as x is approaching towards pi p is approaching towards zero and x can be written as pi minus p therefore the given limit becomes cos 180 minus theta gives you minus cos theta. So, we are having, then after rationalizing we are getting, so we are having in the numerator, one minus cos p can be written as two sine square p by two, Now, if I put the limits, we are going to get, therefore, answer is 1 by 4. Hence, option A is correct. Have you understood the problem? Let us move for the next one. In this problem, let us manipulate the numerator.
Here this 1 by root 2 can be replaced by cos pi by 4 and this 1 by root 2 will be replaced by sin pi by 4. So we are going to get here as cos theta minus pi by 4, right? And in the denominator we are having the same thing, 4 theta minus pi whole square. Now let theta minus pi by 4 is p as theta tends to pi by 4, your p is tending towards 0. Therefore, the limits become and 4 theta minus pi will become, is it clear to all of you? Okay. Now, let me take root 2 common from the numerator. 1 minus cos p will give you 2 sin square p by 2 and it's 16 p square in the denominator, right? So, we are having Is it clear to all of you? Have you understood it? Okay. Therefore, my final answer will be or it can be written as 1 by 16 root 2. Therefore, option A is correct. Is it clear? Let us move for the next problem. Now, in this question, let us manipulate the numerator given. So, we are having Now, let me replace 1 by root 2 by cos pi by 4 and this 1 by root 2 by sin pi by 4 we are having. Now, let us assume pi by 4 minus x is p as x is approaching towards pi by 4, p is approaching towards 0. Therefore, the given limit becomes x is replaced by pi by 4 minus p we are having in the numerator we are applying a cube minus b cube formula so we are having is it clear to all of you now 1 minus cos 2p in the denominator can be replaced by 2 sin square p And in the numerator, we are having cos p minus 1, which can be replaced by minus 2 sin square p by 2. So, we are having sin p can be written as 2 sin p by 2 cos p by 2. So, sin square p can be written as 4 sin square p by 2 cos square p by 2. So, sin square p by 2 sin square p by 2 goes off. Now, if I put the limiting value, we are having. So, it is coming to minus 3 by root 2. Is it clear? Therefore, option B is correct. Have you understood it? Okay.